Welcome to the introduction of Binchi, the binaural tools for the creative industry. As a start, I am the voice in your head and you are inside a virtual space with just coordinates for now. Let's call them North, West, South and East, surrounded by a sphere. This sphere is the playing field on which we operate most of the time by placing or even animating sounds. Um, hi, this is me. My name is Dot. I can be over here or over here. I can even fly a full circle. I can come a little inside the sphere and also leave it. But the sounds in our room mainly come from this bubble around us. A little like in real life. And like in real life, rooms can be a living room, which usually aren't too large, so me and everything inside it will appear to be rather near. But they might as well be an impressive cathedral with lots of echoes. Or something like a train station, in which the surroundings could sound more distant. And since we all like creative freedom, they might as well be totally surrealistic. But let's keep it simple for now and make up this more natural space in the outdoors and use this tool to make some order. The area around there looks like a town. Let's let it sound like a granular body of town. And over there we see a forest. Oh, and did you hear that river behind you? Let's dive into the woods. The new thing in sound recording is done with ambisonic microphones, helping us immerse into a scene with loads of detail that would be cumbersome to synthesize. But it is also possible to use good old stereo or mono sources that can freely be included and animated like, let's say, this mono source B. Not all sounds are as crisp as a B. So for some sounds you will need maybe a main source like this airplane up there, alongside with smaller companions to make it more massive, but also more diffuse because of its distance. Almost like blurring an image. But it gets even better. Let's assume you don't even have all the sounds as separated tracks. Just like the stereo sound of a video, you need to use as your original sound. How about a spectral filter that allows to separate the stomping base of hooves impacting the ground from a cheering crowd? You could then use the crowd as something static, while the horse becomes something very dynamic, expanding the gates of flat screens. The racing game of tech innovation in immersive audio is on. Jump in and let us hear from you. This is where we are today.